Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over CSS transition basics. I've used transition effects in a number of other videos, but I want to focus and make sure you've really got, uh, got it down on how to use transitions themselves. So I've got a page set up here, and as already you can see there's a couple little effects happening when uh, you hover over block 1, block 2, or block 3. So let's check this out. My HTML is pretty straightforward. My blocks are created with simple divs. They're given a class and they also have some unique IDs. So let's go ahead and focus on the CSS on what's creating the effects that I have so far. Simple divs. All of my blocks start with a certain width and height, have margin, color, uh, text color basically, a uh, certain border, uh, text align center, and some padding. Now we start to get to some specifics. My block one starts out with a background color of red, and you can see it there. When you hover over block one, the background color changes to yellow, the border gets thicker and changes to red, and the text color goes to a very dark red. So when I hover over, that effect, those effects take place. There's three characteristics. Now CSS transitions will help me time those out so that they don't happen instantaneously. And it's very easy to do. I'm going to use the CSS transition property. Now this is a shorthand property that's going to ask for four specific things. The um, property or characteristics that I want to change, like color or size, um, the duration, how long is this transition effect going to last, What's the style of the transition? And then a delay, if any. Okay, so let's check this out. My transition is going to affect just the background color. Space, and I want this to take 500 milliseconds. Space, and let's see, I want this just to go linear. And let me stretch this out so it doesn't word wrap on me. And I'm going to hold off on my delay for a second. So I'm only going to change the background color. It's going to take me half a second to do so. And it's going to be a linear transition, means the transition over the half second is going to go at, the, at a constant rate. And let me make sure I hit Control S to save. And now when I hover over this, don't worry about the size and the border, but look at the color from red to yellow. That's what's taking a half second for the transition. Now I can use this transition shorthand property to change one property or I can choose to change all characteristics which means my background color, my border size and color, and the color of the text are all going to change now. So when I go back to my previewer, all three characteristics change, border, background color, and text color. Now let's try something else a little bit different here. Here's my block 2. My block 2 starts with a green background color. No big deal there. And it's got four characteristics, including four different things. Let's say I only want to change two of these four things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my block 2. And instead of using the transition shorthand property, I'm going to go ahead and put in transition property. And I'm going to specify two things. I will change um, width. So I'll change a few things here: height and border radius. All right. So I'm going to change those three things. I'm not changing the overall border or the background color. Okay. And when I say not changing, that's incorrect. I'm not controlling a transition. It'll still change, but it's going to happen instantaneous whereas width, height, and border radius will happen in a more gradual. So in addition to those three things, I also need to change the transition duration. And my duration for this one, I'm going to do 1s for one second. Notice it's s for the timing interval as opposed to ms for milliseconds. So 1s for the duration. And then I'll go ahead and put in transition timing function. This is the style and for this one I'll do ease in out which is basically starts gradual, gets faster, goes back to gradual. And let me control S to save and let's see how this goes. Focus on width, height, and border radius. There we go. 
So the width and the height are gradual, and the border radius is gradual, but of course the color from green to black is instantaneous because I didn't change everything. And of course, if you wanted to change everything using this method, just change transition property to all, and there we go. So now everything is changing gradually. And last but not least, block three and block four. The way I have them created on here is block four is hidden behind block three. Now this styling is actually gonna go down on my block four because that's what I wanna see move. And I'll use a transition shorthand property. And let's go ahead and do all, even though it's really just position that's changing. And I'll do this for 500 milliseconds. Ease in out and I'm also going to put a delay on this one, 500 milliseconds. So let's control S to save. So the transition won't start up until about half a second after I hover. Hover, delay, there's the animation. Remove, delay, and it goes back. So that's a little bit of CSS transitions. And of course you can use three property, or I'm sorry, three values in the shorthand transition property. What do you want to change? How long do you want the transition to take? What's the style or the function of the transition? And then a delay. Very often you may not want the delay, so you could leave that one out. Have fun.